Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, so hope you're having a wonderful weekend in Sacramento. It's pretty hot, so it's going to be another hot week. I, I think as of right now, it's saying it's going to be around 103 degrees next week. So, I mean, it always changes, but that's pretty much what we are used to here, and it gets pretty bad. And that's the perfect time to go ice skating or just stay at a movie theater for eight hours. So I am at the Carmichael location and they have In the Stars. Now, I don't think I saw In the Stars yesterday. Uh, I think they just brought this collection out today, I believe. And I, I like the packaging, but I think I prefer the older packaging better or more so. Um, however, this one is still really nice. And we get In the Stars in the signature single wig, which is pretty awesome. So I can't wait to get one of those. And there's the hand cream. And next we're looking at the all the ingredients you need for soft feeling skin. So we're looking at the Coco Shea Sensitive Skin. Pretty minimal packaging. Kind of boring, but... As long as it gets the job done and people are happy with it, then that's what matters. It's on the inside that counts, right? But, you know, this is Bath & Body Works, and we love a gorgeous outside. So, the packaging is, uh, okay, but we will make do. And this is the Body Lotion, and I believe this one is $17.95. So, oop, there's a floor. Um, so, none of these products um, are reward eligible. I was going to maybe pick one out if I could get one for free, but alas, that wasn't going to happen. So this is the Collodial Oatmeal um, line, and it has a light pink bottle, and this is the bubble bath. Bubble bath, of course, is really good. Um, Collodial Oatmeal is really good for bubble baths, and so that's something. If I need that product, then I know where to go. And there is the Buddy Butter, I believe, Body Butter, and Cocoa Shea Rich Moisture, Cocoa and Shea Butter. Moisturizing Body Wash for $18.95. Yeah, I, I, do you remember the days where moisturizing body washes were like $13.50 or $14? Yeah, the good old days, right? The good old days of like, what, six months ago or so? Now, if you watch Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks, she's all about the Cocoa Shea collection. I've never tried it before and i'm not sure if i will uh may maybe it is the power of the packaging uh here's water ultra hydration by lotion if if my skin needs this then i will try it but as of right now i have way too many products so i don't see myself buying that and if the packaging is boring then i will probably not buy it um uh, but i'm trying to be good with the whole no body cream or, you know, lotions, all of that. And here are some of the hand soaps. I don't believe I showed these yesterday. So we have leaves. And I'm just going to show you the front and the back. I won't be reading off the scent notes. Uh, there's warm amber and cedar. Ooh, I should have smelled this one. Smooth amber, evening jasmine, and cedar air. Like I just said, I wasn't going to read off the scent notes, and I just did. Um, sometimes you just can't help it. I wish I smelled that one. That one seemed like it might have been really good. Uh, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I Okay, so the packaging is really cute. You get the cutout of the pumpkins, and you get the pumpkins inside of the pumpkin. It's almost as if they cut out um, the actual soap bottle, and inside it's the magical soap bottle, and you can see the actual pumpkin or leaves. And let's see, I totally missed that one. Uh, and this is flannel. I wasn't super keen on flannel, so I just kind of quickly went through that one. Pink, ple pink peach blossom. I, I almost said pink bleach blossom. Maybe that'll be a thing next year. Um, that one's really nice. I love pink peach blossom. I'm having a little bit of trouble speaking. Sunrise Woods. I love the mauve uh, color of the bottle there. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I'm pretty sure I showed that. Oh, boy. Um, that's okay. And here are the Chasing Fireflies products. I think the body cream looks the best, along with the moisturizing body wash. You get the full effect of the artwork. 
it's going to be a quick look since I went through a little more detailed, uh, I did a more detailed clip yesterday, uh, Chasing Fireflies Hand Soap. I got, I think I wanted to get that one whenever there's a sale. Here's the antibacterial hand spray. I don't know if I showed that yesterday. And I'm just going to do a quick little run through. I wanted to show the flashing lights on the display there. I think this is a really nice scent. Um, I'll try to do a review comparing a comparison with a uh, uh, butterfly. I'm going to try out both of them and tell you my thoughts. Um, I have a feeling butterfly will be better for my nose, but we will see. I will say I really prefer the Twilight Woods packaging. They should have gone with that instead of what they came up with with the Chasing Fireflies. But and I'll, I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. And okay, so this is at Rancho Cordova, and they had three of the mushrooms. I love that mushroom so much. And I'm actually going to call that mushroom the Chasing Fireflies mushroom because it's green and it has golden dots on it, and the golden dots kind of represent the glowing fireflies. So that's going to be the Chasing Fireflies mushroom. And I asked if it came in any other colors, and the guy told me no as of right now he just thinks it comes out comes with comes out in green so i think it really is the chasing fireflies mushroom and i'm taking a look at the shampoo and conditioners so we have a thousand wishes and there are the scent notes and information and ingredients 16.95 so you can use your rewards and i was tempted to get one today but um i yeah not quite yet. I have a feeling I will. And the one I'm going to probably get will be this one, Into the Night. I love the label. The label is so nice. You get the moon, you get the stars. It's a, honestly, it's a Halloween. It's a Halloween label. Here's the Champagne Toast Dry Shampoo, and there's the back of it. Those, shake well. Yes, make sure you shake this well. And we're going to uh, Japanese Cherry Blossom. And here's, oh, it's a uh, mushroom galore. There are two of the adorable green mushrooms here, along with several of the bigger, taller, flocked mushrooms, which in my opinion, my humble opinion, you can throw into a pile and start a campfire and roast some s'mores over it, because I don't think we're going to pay $50 for that. And here's a Together Weather uh, body cream. I almost got this with rewards today because I just love the packaging. The scent is pretty nice too, but that packaging is uh, beyond gorgeous. It's a wonderful sunset over the land, and the land has very watercolor um, colors to it. So I just think that's gorgeous. Here's one more look at the shampoos and conditioners and the three dry shampoos that you can choose from. And Metro Cordova had two of the pink adorable gummy backpacks and okay look into the night it goes perfectly with midnight spell it's a halloween shampoo and if you just labeled this um in uh midnight spell shampoo it would have worked man had to nightcap and yeah this one is this is my first time seeing this so i put the body cream and the cologne on and it's been about six hours and i can still smell it and though those are the scent notes i'm going to show you again Black Santal, Sweet Brandy, and Cherry Wood. I get, I think, the Cherry Wood and the Sweet Brandy. So the cherry, of course, won't be like the Firecracker Pop or anything. It's not going to be a juicy cherry. But it is there, and the woodiness is definitely there. It's a gorgeous masculine scent. I feel like this is one of the best ones that they have. So I know sometimes you hear that the colognes don't last very long, but... This one, I can still smell on my arms, and I'm loving it. And here's the Castle Luminary at Laguna Crossroads. There's the window. See, it looks like a stained glass. There is no actual colorful glass in that circular window, but you see the bent, quote-unquote, metal forming an interesting shape there. So I could have bought it at Laguna Crossroads, but I didn't. Um... I'm going to wait for a coupon because I wasted my coupon on the other one. Yay. Uh, several pumpkins and several uh, chalices and witch hand fortune teller globes. 
those three, I'm pretty sure it will be at SAS. Or you'll be able to get at a steeper discount later on. The clocks, I'm not so sure. And ooh, look at that. They are so shiny. And here's a look at the kind of small trick-or-treat bag. It's really cute. Uh, and this is the end of my walkthrough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed a couple of the new items that I saw today, including Manhattan Nightcap. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!